We are on Louisiana Highway 24, or the Burke LaRose Highway, which connects the towns of, you guessed it, LaRose and Burke. But it was constructed on a man-made embankment by the State Highway Department in the early 1930s. Down here, we refer to it by several different names. The Burglar Rose Highway, Highway 24, but also the Homer Shortcut, and my favorite, the Grand Bois. Whatever is your preferred name, the Grand Bois follows the Intracoastal Waterway, and it's a popular spot for hunters and other outdoorsmen. At night, though, since there aren't any lights along the road, it can get pretty eerie. Growing up down here, we heard so many stories and urban legends about this road. Ghosts seen walking on the side of the road are just one of the more unsettling rumors about the place. But in particular, a woman in a nightgown will sometimes appear when your headlights pass her, but she disappears when you look into the rearview mirror. This was the location where supposed gang members would just drive around with their lights off until someone would flash their lights at them. The gang member would then immediately turn around and pursue, and they would just try to run that car off the road. Another story was a little bit more sinister. And it goes that in the 1950s, there was a couple driving down the Grand Bois one night and they ran out of gas. They pull over on the side of the road and the man starts the long walk to the nearest gas station in Klondike while the lady just locks herself in the car and takes a nap. Hours pass and she's awakened by a scratching and tapping noise coming from the roof of the car. She leans over and leans out the window. Just to glance up, she sees her boyfriend hanging from the tree above the car with his shoes barely touching the roof. His lifeless corpse is just swinging in the wind. Another Grand Bois horror story involves more of a group effort. Now this dates back to the 1980s when a lone gentleman is just traveling along the home of Shortcut late at night, of course, and he sees a car pulled over on the side of the road and an old lady is waving him down. The man pulls over to offer assistance, only to be met by several individuals in a satanic cult emerging from the darkness of the woods. They would murder the man before stealing his car to plant the bait for the next victim. A horror story from the 1990s involves the police when a woman is driving home late at night. She wasn't speeding, yet she saw a police car with his lights on behind her. When she pulls over, it becomes clear that this guy is not an officer at all, and she is in immediate danger. This guy was impersonating an officer after stealing one of the cop cars and murdered the young lady. Now, these stories are all part of the folklore of the area, but are most likely untrue. Most of these stories originated during a time of panic and it was meant to scare new drivers and just not being sketchy on the road. The effect of labeling things as satanic was also a tactic in scaring people. These stories are a part of urban legends nationwide. There are also rumors that the Rugaru roams the woods along with other beasts and spirits. The Fufoye and even Bigfoot is said to be lurking around here, but regardless of what you believe, one thing is certain. Do not pull over on this road late at night or you might end up as the next folklore tale because you never know who or what has their eyes on you. Let us know your stories of the Grand Bois in the comments section or by visiting our website at louisianadread.com and check out our merch store where you can buy shirts like this and other things. Now, we couldn't bring you this information without your support on Patreon. We'd like to thank all those who have contributed already and encourage anyone watching this video right now to consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash Louisiana Dread. For more Louisiana history, horror, folklore, and culture, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Kyle Crosby, and this is Louisiana Dread Quick History.